Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I'm here in a very sunny Blackpool. And if you saw my video, oh it's going back a while now, where they took away the high tide organ, which is or was close to where the sandcastle is. Well, they've now taken away another piece of artwork along the promenade. They've taken away Frankenstein. Just check out this weather we have got in Blackpool today. It is absolutely awesome. Looking out there towards the direction of Wales. Yeah, I can see the coastline of Wales and a few people on the beach there. Absolutely amazing weather here in Blackpool. And I want to show you now where Frankenstein was, yeah? A lot of you will probably be wondering what I'm talking about here, but Frankenstein was a piece of artwork and it was like a massive iron tank thing, uh, almost like, um, you know, one of those, I think it was a diving chamber, you know, a diving chamber that divers go into, de a decompression chamber, that's what it was. And it was right here. You see this circular part of the promenade here? It was right, I'm gonna show you a photograph of it when it was first installed. Okay, now I just want to show you a photograph of Frankenstein when I took this photograph in 2008, so it won't have been too long after it was installed when I took this photograph and it looks, well, it looks brand new. It was just one of those funny kind of artworks where you're not really sure what it's meant to be. Back then you could see through the window at the side and there was like a, like a skeleton of a dinosaur inside. Yeah, and it used to light up at night, but in recent years it got really, really rusty. And I think the council were a bit worried about people getting injured or maybe getting inside it and that sort of thing. So they've taken it away, yeah. Yeah, so this is where Frankenstein was, right here on this uh, circular part of the promenade here. Sort of halfway between the Mirabal and the tram depot down at Squires Gate. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just take you up to the Mirabal. We'll have a look at the Mirabal, shall we? I don't think the Mirabal is in any danger of being taken away, although it was taken away for, well, the best part of a year. So, but they refurbished it and put it back again. So at least we've still got the mirror ball but uh, i thought i'd just show you some of these other artworks here there's a couple of others in, in between we've got this one here just in case you're not sure of these mind you this one looks like it's rusting a little bit it's like a steel picture frame and it's got like a it's got like a child swimming on it can you see if you look at it from this side here look See it there in the top left hand corner, like a child swimming there, and you can see the waves. Could have jaws on that, couldn't it? Chasing after it, yeah. So there you go, that's that one. And that one is called Water Wings, by the way. That's called Water Wings. Anyway, there's another one just up here. I think this is called Glam Rocks. These rocks here that light up at night are called Glam Rocks, yeah. So we'll take a little look at those and then we'll have a look at the mirror ball. Quite a few people on the promenade. It's always a bit quiet this part of the promenade though. You don't seem to get the crowds down here. So yeah, here we are. These are glam rocks. Yeah, they're supposed to be scaled from actual pebbles taken from Blackpool Beach. So we'll just have a quick look at uh, the mirror ball and see how that's looking. It was refurbished. Like I say, it was sent away to have all new mirrors put on it, so it should look just like new. Okay, so here we are at the mirror ball and check this out. Gleaming with its all new, I think it's 45, something like 45,000 new mirrors on the world's largest mirror ball here in Blackpool. 
The only thing is that they haven't really finished this off either because if you look at these, can you see these posts to the side? There's three on that side and there's three on this side. These are supposed to hold up the lights which shine onto the mirror and they haven't been replaced yet. So I'm really hoping that they get replaced before the illuminations and it's not too far away. Yeah, we're not too far off the Blackpool illumination. Seems a bit weird really, because the weather's so good and when we get the illuminations coming on, that's when the weather goes to pop here in Blackpool. So there you go, that was a quick video just to let you know that they've taken another piece of artwork away from South Promenade here in Blackpool, Frankenstein. The diving chamber artwork has been taken away, but the mirror ball behind me survived. But I just wonder when they're going to finish off with those projection lights that are supposed to shine onto it. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.